We're here at the Hazleton area track where both the boys and girls track teams are off to a great start this season. I'm being joined by Katora Leggett and Joe Grola. And Katora, I'm going to start with you real quick. I know you're new to the area. You transferred here from the Chamonix. I'm kind of new to the Hazleton scene myself. You know, what is it that you like about Hazleton? I, I, I love third base subs and Frankie's cold pizza. Anything that sticks out to you? Well, like the great people here, I would say, and I would to say the food too. <laughs> it's really good. All right, Katora, we're going to get back to you in a couple seconds. But right now I want to go to Joe Grula, who's heading to Brown University to throw the javelin. But Joe, before we even get into the javelin at all, I want to talk about the jumps, because you're good in all three jumps. So what is it about the jumps that you like? Uh, I would just use my athleticism that I acquired uh, from so many years of doing so many sports. And uh, it just really feels like you're flying out there, so I really enjoy that. Yeah, and I was going to say, you know, uh, during basketball season, I got to cover your, your great run there. So it seemed like it was four days maybe only, four days you were off from the end of basketball to the start of track, and you come out your first track, meaning the triple jump, set a new personal best for yourself and everything. Did basketball kind of help you transition easily in a track? Uh, of course. We're working out all the time basketball, just about uh, every practice we go into the weight room and, and lift after. And... Uh, I mean, although it's different muscles, you're still using your muscles and you're still conditioning. So once I got out here, it was just, uh, it wasn't too hard of a transition. And Joe, out of the three jumps, what's your favorite? I definitely like triple jump the best because uh, it just feels, feels the best. All right, so now let's get into that jab one there. So uh, tell me about the year. How do you think it's going for you in the jab so far? <clears throat> uh, it's going really well so far. Um, every single meet, I've, I've bested my uh, last throw. So... I'm just uh, looking to continue to do that and, until I go to uh, districts and hopefully states. So, yeah, obviously I want to get out into that uh, district meet a little bit. Last year, obviously, you won it. But the Wyoming Valley Conference is so deep in the javelin. Obviously, you have Mark Anthony Manichello, who just threw over 200 feet at the Penn Relays. Walter Coles is a two-time district medalist. There's a kid from Tunkanic out by 170. So it seems like almost every single meet that there is good competition out there. Do you think that's going to help you for districts and for states that every single meet that you go to, it's a big meet? Uh, that definitely helps because if you're out there throwing uh, against yourself, I mean, it's not it's not as easy to do that. Uh, when you have someone really to compete against, it, it makes it easier to uh, try to fire one out there. And I know last year you were so close to making the finals at States. I'm going to guess that your goal is obviously to get back to States number one, but if you do get back there, it's going to be to probably get on the podium, I would think, right? Uh, that's definitely one of my goals, uh, try to get up to 200 this year and then make a run for uh, the state championship. And I kind of want to tie all this together a little bit. So we said you're going to Brown, and it's only to throw the jab, right? You're, you're not going to jump, right? I'm not going to jump at uh, Brown, but we'll see what happens once I get up there. It's like, because you're, you're pretty good in the jumps. I don't know. You ever think about maybe trying the decathlon out between being good in the jumps? You know, you can throw the jab for you. You have a good, great built for the disc. Cause I don't know. You ever think about it? Um, the running part uh, kind of keeps me away from that, but we'll see what happens once I get up there. All right, Joe, thanks. I'm going to head it over to uh, Katora now and get, get a little bit on her season. All right, Katora, so obviously now we said before it's your first year in Hazleton, but before they went to the Chamonix, which is obviously in the outskirts of Philly, did you do the track there? You kind of have a uh, track background, or is this your first time ever going out for it? Uh, I have a track background. I did it for, like, I think, like five years, six years, probably, since seventh grade. So, Katora, obviously uh, the season's starting to wrap up here. Districts is just a few weeks away. What's your goals for districts? To go to states and then get my best score. All right, so now the girl shot put's going to be very deep in our district. You have Peter Montan, who's arguably the best shot putter in the country. Uh, obviously, Wyoming area has a girl that's pretty good. You uh, beat her during the year. She's out by 40 feet, too. How, how do you think the competition, I was asking Joe about this, too, before. Do you think that that competition is going to help you in the long run? Well, it's going to push me harder to get where my goal, it, goal is. But, yeah, it's going to push me. And then, what do you think, 40 feet by the end of the year you're hoping to get? Because what, what are you at right now? I'm at like 39.6, but I'm praying that I would get 40. That would be my goal. Okay, and then uh, obviously now, you, like you said, you've been doing this for a while now. Do you see yourself doing this in college? What do you think? Yeah, me, yeah, I see myself doing it. Do you have any colleges in mind? Uh, quite few, but not yet. Yeah, well, any Division One, Division Two? Probably one and two. Still looking. Well, it's nice talking with the both of you. I just want to wish you guys the best of luck on the rest of the season, and hopefully we'll be seeing you guys down in states at Shippensburg University. That will be at the end of the month. And remember to keep watching SSP TV News to keep track of these guys and the rest of the Cougars track and field teams.